Welcome aboard and welcome back to Watch Advisor on YouTube. It's again me, Alexander speaking. It's another video where you will only see my hands and the two superstars on your screen. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell to get our latest notifications. This is the Proge Reference 7337. This is a new execution of a watch that Proge initially already introduced in the year 2009. Um, new case color, new dial uh, colors, and some details I want to show you right away. This is a watch that has a, a diameter of 39 millimeters. 39 millimeters. The height of the case is 9.9 .9 millimeters, 9.9 .9 millimeters. And the so-called lug to lug distance, the distance from here to here is 47 millimeters. The case is waterproof up to 30 meters. It's an elegant wristwatch worn on a leather strap. So there is no need to give it more waterproofness than this. So what the watch is indicating is on the one hand side, the day you see here, Tuesday, you see here the 26th, um, you have a moon face, you have a small running second and of course the minutes and the hours. What is special on this white gold version is the dial. Uh, of course, before uh, Breguet, uh, the Breguet watch, the reference 7337 existed in a white gold case, but with only in a silver dial. Now it is that two-tone dial in blue and in silver. It's a white gold dial that has been uh, worked um, by guillotage, engine turned, as you say in English, it's engine turned. So lots of hand work done on the dial. You have different patterns of guillotage as you can see here in the running second and you have another pattern applied on the rest of the dial and one little special thing you also have to recognize is the speciality of doing this differences in between the white or the silver color you see and the blue and the silver again and uh, this is really something very, very delicate. And uh, during the multiple color setting stages, the two-tone dial, blue and silver, you see blue and silver requires a delicate manner work to protect the different areas. So the areas are protected um, in order to guarantee a perfect boundary between the two colors. And if you go close and as close as I can with the camera, you will see it's ultra thin, the blue and the boundary is perfectly, you could take a magnifying glass and you would see it looking really gorgeous. And this is what the watch in the end really is demonstrating that's that um, savoir-faire, the knowledge of Breguet to really uh, manufacture these kind of watches in that style with uh, gold dials that are uh, engine turned completely uh, guillotage à main. You can also see it written here it's named here you can clearly see it well the watch has a ultra thin automatic movement 44 45 hours of power reserve um, with a D, with a uh, gold rotor this is the rotor of the watch um, and you can also see the rotor is decorated and also engine turned with an own pattern that is perfectly representing the knowledge and the savoir-faire, as we say in French, of Breguet to do such things. The watch features a silicon hairspring and an inverted straight line lever with silicon horns. And as I just said, it has a silicon hairspring. This is useful if you want to avoid the watch to get magnetized in case you are approaching the watch to magnetic fields. Now, let me take the new red gold version. This 
version as I just show in the picture only exist, existed before in yellow gold, not in red gold before. This is how the red gold version looks from the side. Of course, it features the same movement with an automatic rotor. Again, here the rotor um, being decorated, also engine turned. And of course, that movement decoration is absolutely high end or haute lingerie like so the very best of the best you can get also new and uh, very nice is this wonderful folding clasp so you have the B now the Breugge B and it is a butterfly folding clasp that gives you a lot of comfort when you want to put the watch on your wrist you see and you have these two pushers to open it. Very nicely executed Breguet butterfly folding glass. That's new. And there you go. Yep. So um, let me take um, the blue one again. And uh, what I am now trying to show you is the change of the date and the moon phase. If we continue to advance uh, in the day, now it is uh, three o'clock and something. Um, no, it is not three o'clock and something. It is some minutes to three o'clock. And if we are, uh, are advancing, I will now try to show you the date change and how this looks like on a Brugge. You will see at around uh, uh, now the moon just moved a little bit. Duck. It's always around six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock in the evening. The moon moved a little bit. And now we are approaching midnight and I want to show you what happens on uh, you see the Tuesday starts to turn here Tuesday and let me continue so you can see this Tuesday starts to turn Wednesday and also the 27th we have I've been setting it to um, Tuesday 26 and now we have Wednesday 27 I can do the same with the beautiful silver dial. You will see at around uh, six o'clock, the moon will advance one day, more or less. Attention. Tick. You could see and even hear it click. And now let's approach midnight. Then you will see as just shown before, yes, around 11 o'clock, the date disc begins to turn to Wednesday and finishes the procedure exactly and then exactly at around midnight also the date changed to the 27th. We have the hidden signature that is that's a speciality of all Breguet dials. Breguet started very early to take his first measurements again counterfying so he was signing his dials with a hidden signature and this hidden signature was pretty hard to copy. There you go. I perfectly brought it into the camera here. You have the hidden signature and you have the ongoing numbering of the watch. So this is 2301, 2301. And this number on this reference 7337 will only appear once. And if you turn the watch around, um, then you will have added to the 2301 also the letters CH, Charlie Hotel. And this 2301 CH, Charlie Hotel, this is your individual Breguet number and this watches will only exist once. There will not be a second one featuring the code, uh, the number 2301 and the letter code Charlie Hotel CH. You might probably encounter someone else wearing the watch, having the same um, number on the dial, the 2301. This is possible, but once you turn the watch around, you will have additional two letters and this will be your individual number of the watch. 
I just showed it here and let me pick up it again and you see the same on this dial. It is 1487, 1487 and when we turn around the watch we have a 141487 and PP. Bravo Papa! This is your individual watch number. Also very important to mention this is not a perpetual calendar, this is not an annual calendar, so all adjustments to the calendar have been done have, have to be done by hand and you have to readjust the watch always according to the length of the month, either 28, 29 on February or 30 or 31 on end of a regular month. So this is what the reference 7337 of Breguet, the edition 2020 with the new wonderful blue and silver dial in a white gold case looks like on my wrist. I can show you, there you see the beautiful new folding clasp that is new now and you can see the watch perfectly on my wrist. I have a 70 centimeter wrist and I have to admit it looks gorgeous, very nice. Um, and very elegant watch, very thin watch, double on the guarantee, go under the sleeve of your shirt. This is now the version in red gold with a wonderful silvered gold dial, of course, the dials are made out of gold, the Brugge, and you see very slim watch. Let me take the occasion to show you how you can open the folding clasp. The folding clasp is, uh, you see here, there is a little finger or nipple that goes into the leather strap and then you can just pull it out and there you go. Then you can close it. Here you are and you have the beautiful new folding clasp. So let me, before finishing the video, also tell you that in case you are interested um, in uh, getting more information or getting your hands on the, such a beauty, um, let me please uh, know if I can help you. Shoot me an email at alexander at watchadvisor.com. I will make sure that you will get the correct information in your country, wherever you're looking this video, where you can get your hands on the watch and if uh, on the, and uh, whatever country you're watching now are interested in buying such a watch because you say, this is just beautiful. I am really interested to buy it. I will also be um, uh, there to help you, to let you know where and how you can probably buy the watch. Um, I will let Swatch Group know and they will give me all the necessary information, Brigue will give me all the necessary information that I will then forward to you so you can get your hands on the new reference 7337. Thank you very much for watching this video and for your interest, for your interest in Brigue and in what we are doing, stay tuned and the most important is stay safe and sound. Goodbye.